The Witch Next Door by Norman Bridwell. There's a witch living on our street. Do you know how I can tell? It's nothing you would notice the first time you saw her. It isn't the way she says hello. Maybe it's the way she does her shopping. You might know then. I thought she was a witch the very day she moved in. And I was sure of it when she painted her house. Black isn't my favorite color, but after all, it's her house. You might notice her washing on Monday mornings. Or you might be surprised when she takes her pets for a walk. She's a good neighbor. She keeps her house very neat. If someone is sick, she sends him cookies and hot soup. And when you have a kite up a tree, she's always ready to lend a hand. I didn't know witches could stretch their arms like that. And if you don't have a kite, she takes care of that too. She's a wonderful neighbor. Oh, she does cast a few spells now and then. But they don't hurt anybody. Oh, whoa. And she's very quiet. She goes to sleep at 8 o'clock every night. Except once in a while, when her friends come out to a cookout. She's very good to us. She showed us the bat bath in her backyard. And we had so much fun with our witch. And then one day, we were at her house having tea and cookies. And there was a knock at the door. It was the people next door. And they didn't look very happy. You'd better move, they said. We don't want witches in our neighborhood. Well, our witch got angry. I'd never seen her like that before. We were angry, too. Our witch cast a spell on them. It was terrible. I couldn't look. We changed them into a handsome young prince and princess. Of course, they forgot about asking our witch to leave. I asked the witch to change us into a beautiful prince and princess. But she said no. She said good boys and girls are more beautiful than princes and princesses. Good night. I love you.